Happy Thursday, guys. Welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us, and we're going to be talking about an application I bought for my Mac probably a month ago by recommendation of Colt, youtube.com slash Colt459595. You'll find that link on top down below uh, this video. It's called Cinch. It brings, actually, one of Windows better features over to the Mac, which I think they call Snap 2 or something like that. Definitely one of my favorite things with Windows 7. Absolutely loved it, and I definitely missed it when I came to the Mac, and I'm really glad there's an application that can uh, that can emulate that in OS 10. As I said, it's called Cinch. I just Googled Cinch for Mac. It brought me here to MacUpdate.com. It's uh, 1.6 megabytes and $7, so that's not too bad. I think it's worth about $7. More than 10, probably not, but definitely 7 is in that sweet spot. I have set it to open up with OS 10, which is pretty easy to do, but I'll go ahead and open the app and you can actually see what it looks like. Real basic. You can just uh, enable it or disable it from here. Start Cinch automatically at login. Boom, that's what you want to click there. You can have it show an icon up here to let you know when it's running, but since I always have it running, I don't need that. And then you've got to automatically check for updates, which is nice. I'll check for updates now. 1.04 is the latest version. So there it is. You get your license over here. You actually download the basic file, and then you plug in your license key. I think they just email it to you real quick, real easy. So uh, here's what it does. You open up a browser. Here's Safari. And for some reason with the Mac, it thinks it knows how to display everything correctly. So if I were opening this on a new Mac, it might open it uh, with some border space. Random. I don't know why. Sometimes you want to look at a few different web pages or uh, maybe you just want your whole screen to be used by one page. So before, you'd have to drag this window around where you want it and then come down in the bottom right and resize it that way. Which, granted, isn't that big of a pain, but it's definitely a little easier if you can just do that. Throw it up to the top. And I can't throw it to my left because I have another monitor over there, so it's trying to use that. I will be able to throw it to my right. There it is. It takes up exactly half the screen. If I didn't have another monitor on my left and it would, you know, it's trying to go over and use that other monitor, I could take this and throw it to the left. I'll just throw it to the right and then move it. And there it is. Whoa, I dragged it up to the top. Put it over here. Oh, did it again. And then another nice feature is... Um, like here it is in the basic size that I would probably use on this monitor. I don't need to waste my whole browser or my whole desktop with one browser. So when I throw it up to the top like that, maybe I'm done doing whatever I'm doing where I want it at full screen, I drag it back down and it comes back to the size it was. That's really cool. Now when you put it up to the top, notice your cursor at the top there just hits the uh, the bar at the top and nothing happens. You have to go all the way up to the top of the screen, which I really like because in Windows 7 you could be trying to rearrange it manually to fit a custom size and you'd accidentally touch the top of the screen and boom, you just lost your formation and now it's full screen. Well, here you've got to go all the way up. So it's really like you're not going to do it by accident, which I really like. So, really easy to use. It's a really nice application. I definitely recommend it for pretty much any Mac user. Uh, notice when I drag that back out, there it is in whatever size I want. And uh, I know I haven't held it for long, but I'll drag it to the right. And you can probably see that dashed line there about halfway down the screen uh, telling me where it's going to go. Now when I go all the way back over to the left, you're going to see it's going to switch spaces. If you hold it there long enough and you have spaces enabled, it'll switch. But really simple to use, as I said, and I definitely give it uh, five five stars out of five here. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys can find that useful. Again, it's called Cinch for Mac, and really it's quite a cinch. Our website is techinform.us. My personal Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. The business account for Twitter is twitter.com slash techinformus. Then you can catch us live on Tuesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Subscribe if you like the content, and I'll talk to you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.